I love my godfather's ex-wife. She is crazy as hell. Well, I mean, he had three of them, but this one in particular is really fucking nuts, right? She is from Peru. Now, they got married a long ass time ago, and then he found out that she, like, didn't have her papers and basically married him and got her papers, but he didn't care about that shit because she was already pregnant anyway, and it was a whole kind of situation, so he married her. And then she started getting, like, real weird, and she brought her mother over here, and he found a bunch of voodoo shit in her, like, dresser drawer and a picture of my mother and all kind of extra niggas. So, I don't then he swore to God he, that she put roots on him and that's why he had like his appendix exploded or something like that. And they got a divorce and then she wanted to take his house and all kind of extra shit down in Florida and some money. And then like a month ago, she called him and goes, I hope you die. You need to just go die. And I'm like, damn, that's the best way to end the argument ever. Not like, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to do anything to you. But just go die, nigga. Go somewhere and die. And then he ended up with fucking ball cancer. This nigga, he, got, he has prostate cancer. And so he gets his prostate removed. And then she comes up with the kid who's like 15, 16 years old. She comes up with the kid while he's in the hospital. And he tells her to like, you know, go get food and take care of some things while he's in the hospital. She calls herself going to do it. She does this shit. There is a bunch of food in this nigga's house that he cannot eat because he can't. He can't eat solid food or do anything because he has no balls now. So I'm like, basically, she came and she used up all your money on a bunch of shit you can't deal with. And he's like, yes. And I'm like, do you think maybe she just don't speak English well? <laughs> and he's like, no, I, that's not the case. She's just stupid. And I'm like, damn. Stay away from FOB broads, man. Unless you know that she's like sane, don't fuck with her.